Hi! In this example, we're going to evaluate a limit using technology, and this can be done in a few ways. The first thing we want to look at is our function itself. We have the limit as x approaches 3 of x plus 3 divided by x squared. So um, since this is a rational function, we can go ahead and um, do this one of three ways, or all three ways if we wanted to, right? We could either evaluate from a table of values um, using the calculator. We could actually use the ca graphing calculator to graph it and look around three, a little to the left, a little to the right. Um, or we could evaluate the limit using a more robust technology other than the graphing calculator. And we can use a website called like Wolfram Alpha. There's quite a few websites that we can use that have robust cal um, computation skills. So um, I'm going to use Wolfram Alpha because it's one of my favorites. OK, so the first method is that we could just directly put in the limit into the more robust technology like Wolfram Alpha. And um, I could easily put this in as the lim for limit. And you can see that some already come prompt up. So you can easily just use one of those as an example. And you just put the limit of, and then you can put the function itself, which is x plus 3 in the numerator divided by x squared. And then um, you have to go ahead and put where this limit is going to. So we have to say as x. And then go ahead and for the arrow, you can put a dash with a greater than symbol. And then the value that you're um, approaching, which in this case is 3. And then at that point, um, once you put in the characters in that way, you could go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to go ahead and compute the limit directly. So this could be very simple using some sort of technology like this, where it would calculate it to be 2 thirds. And we can go ahead and put 2 thirds into the answer box. We can see that it wants us to round to two decimal places. So over here in Wolfram Alpha, what's nice is you could go ahead and click approximate form and it changes the answer. And then we can go ahead and round to 0 0.67. If we submit that, that is the correct answer. So how does Wolfram Alpha do that? Well, let's go ahead and try the other two ways. So the first thing we want to do is maybe make a table of values. Go ahead and hit your Y equals button on your graphing calculator and enter in the function itself. So make sure to put parentheses around the numerator of X plus 3 and then divide it by uh, X squared. And so what you can do is the X variable button is right here and um, the T, theta, and N you've already probably used in the previous chapters. So um, and then here we hit enter. And then what we can do is go to second window, which will bring us to table set. And what we want is to rewrite the independent as ask, because we don't want every integer. We want just numbers very close to 3. Remember, we only look at the behavior of the function around this value that we're approaching. We don't even care what's happening at the value. We just care about the behavior around it. And sometimes this may be a challenging idea because in, we're so conditioned to look at that x value when really when we get into limits, which is entering calculus, we don't look at certain values. We look around it and we look at the behavior around certain values. So let's go ahead and hit ask. Hit, make sure you hit enter. And I usually hit down just to make sure it's highlighted. Now let's go to the table, which is second graph. So now it should be empty. It should look like this. Now let's go ahead and ask for certain x values around the x value 3. So why not start at maybe um, to the right, right? So um, 3. 3.1 and how about 3.01 and 3.001 ooh 3.0001 and let's do 3.00001 just for fun 
So we can see that the values that it's approaching on the Y in blue is exactly the value that we found over here in Wolfram Alpha. So the behavior after evaluating the limit here, knowing that it's two thirds, the behavior around it is also two thirds. Now let's go ahead and go from the left side. So in this case, I'll put um, a little bit to the left, so 2.9999. And that looks exactly the same, 2.999, 2.9999. And then 2.9. So essentially what we're doing is we're getting close to 3 from the right side and and then from the left side. And no matter what we could see, um, around 3 is the same behavior of 2 thirds for the output or Y value. So um, Notice that it put 3 there. It, we didn't ever enter 3, but let's scroll up. Your calculator lies to you, and no one ever tells you, but it does. Because look, if I highlight over 3.3, 3, it gives me the value I actually entered. And in fact, if you went over to the right side, it's not actually 0.6667, right? We know there's a lot more repeating decimals. So go ahead and move it over, and you're going to see a whole bunch. So what it appears to be is not always what it is or what you enter. So just be careful. So using a table, we could see that we would have gotten the same de rounded decimal, right, 0.67. Okay, now let's go ahead and go to the graph. So um, if we want to go ahead and go to the graph, um, we can click graph because we did already put it in our y equals, so we could graph it. Now since we're approaching 3, notice that it's 1, 2, 3 here. This is where um, we're looking. So if we wanted to actually find what is around this value, we can just hit this cursor button or you can hit this trace button. It's really up to you. So I'll move the cursor. You can see it already crossed and highlighted. Or you can hit trace and it jumps onto um, the the graph itself. And so right now it's not in the picture at all because it's really high up on the y-axis. So let me go to the right. And now we can see that um, we're at x equals 0.75 and the y is at 6.5. So let me go ahead and keep going to the right till I get to that x value 3 or somewhere near it, right? Because again, we only look for the behavior around the value. So notice I'm getting closer. I'm at 2.58 um, about. Okay, and now I'm at 3.03, .03, and then I'm over, right? But it's still 0.66 here, right? And if I go a little bit to the left, it's 2.87. So you could easily just go ahead and um, use the trace button. Another one you could use is the calc menu. If you go to second trace and go to the calc, you'll notice that you can get an output value for an, a certain x value. So you can hit 1 and put the x value 3 and hit enter and notice it brings it up 0.67. It, it tells you exactly. So once again, um, just to reiterate, when it says to use some sort of graphing technology, what it really wants you to do is either go to a robust technology like this and enter in the limit or look at the behavior around the function like we did in our table, which is super easy, or the graph. And you can go ahead and use the calc menu to do a value um, to find the limit. Or you could use the trace button right around there. It's really up to you, but you should be using some sort of technology at this point and using it as more of a tool than anything. I hope this helps.